guys, welcome back. So how you guys quarantine time? I know there must be a lot of people asking this question, maybe kind of tired of it. Uh, my quarantine time, I, I feel, even though I'm stay at home all the time, I feel more tired than before. I mean, stay at home all the time, probably what we want before, right? But right now it's, it's like a punishment working from home and you know you know just like you did everything at home and it's really hard to separate work and life that's make me feel exhausted it's like i cannot get a totally rest okay this is not gonna be our topic of the time we're gonna have some new thing before this all this happened uh i just start establish a routine to after work i will go to do exercise in the gym and work out then all of a sudden this happened we cannot do exercise outside you can also do some workout at home but i don't actually like it so i'm thinking how do i lose some weight i actually before I do, I did exercise, I, did, I work down and I eat much healthier and now instead of stay at home, no workout at all, almost, and eat unhealthy, like instant noodle all the time. So right now is the time to change. Uh, and one or two months ago, my friend introduced me a way, a diet, and I'm actually thinking about to do that after we moved you know we, we I, I i had a apartment haunting video post before and right now we officially moved in it's pretty nice apartment i know this is kind of off topic but it's pretty nice apartment except this dumb fridge you know you know you know this this cannot close i don't know what's wrong with it it's like if you just put a little food in there it's it's fine i, I, I wouldn't even say fine if you hold it a long time it's fine it can't, can't stick there but if you put a lot like this time we bought lots of stuff it totally cannot close it's no matter how hard you try so we put this on try to use the strands to to hold it so okay this is totally off topic i know and so let's come back to the diet so i'm going to try a new diet it's called keto it's really popular recently a lot of people are on it and but in case you guys some of you guys don't know about it it's basically you can only eat five percent carb and 25 percent protein and like the rest like 70 percent it's all fat. Uh, I I really like carb to be honest, but 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 you know to be healthy you always keep it's a low carb diet, which means you eat more protein and not enough not a lot of fat too. But it's kind of not that tasty, I think. Uh, so so the keto thing, even though you almost totally cannot eat carb but but you can eat a lot of fat of course that good health like good fat healthy fat would be much better than bad one but it it but since there's a lot of fat it means that the food you eat are actually more tasty more like delicious so i think you can try that and i said i'm like zero experience on this keto thing so if you guys are also interested in that's what I did, I search a lot of videos on YouTube and just watch them to firstly know what keto is and how do we want, what food is good for keto, what is bad, and how do we prepare for our lunch, dinner, and yeah, basically prepare our meal. I would pay. For I would prefer YouTube videos because I I'm not like um I didn't cook a lot before and so so if I just look at those 
articles which list a lot of different products that you should put this in, you should put that, or recipes that list a lot of things. I may not even know what that's it. But if it's in a video, it's like more intuitive. Even though you don't know that, he may have a little simple ex like explanation of why you put it here, when you put it there, and and you can know whether you want it or you just oh I'm good I don't need that. So so I, I really like like those cooking cooking videos that it's it's really intuitive. So that's basically all I did. And during watching this video, I also list out everything I want buy every thing that is needed for keto or is good for keto. So. So today, I'm thinking about, not, not today I'm thinking about, it's like after all of this I'm thinking about, I'm gonna make a video on this. My first time keto preparation and the plan is go to the market after lunch and then, um, and then come back, make this video in the afternoon, so since all the like they still have daylight and it would be perfect to make videos right and look what ha look look how things go right now huh perfectly it's just 10 o'clock 10 but i still need to finish this i want to show you guys what i bought what i bought and it's this a little can have an inspiration on you, hope it's the right word. So first thing, I would reach this, it's really important, is the key, ketone, 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 ketone script. It's basically going to test how much keto that uh, your body generated and you, you will know whether you are get into the ketone keto phases so if you if one day you eat a lot of carb more than your body need you will get out of those ketone phase which is not good yeah so this one can test how much keto in your body so you definitely need this uh i mean not the product product i just choose randomly i don't know what's good so you don't need to follow my choice right you can just randomly choose one and this and also this is from urine so it's not that that accurate so if you want an accurate one you can test your keto in your blood that's i, I believe it's more much more accurate and i don't know how should i start this Okay, I guess this definitely the most the other one most relevant. So that's called MCT oil. I watched a video about it, and I know it's a healthy oil, and it's also good for your brain. But I still cannot explain. I, I just kind of forgot. But this can put it in to many dishes. Like you, you guess I don't know whether you guys know the bulletproof coffee. Is that that is what I intend to try and you can put the mct oil instead of coconut oil both both would be cool mct oil butter and coffee and you need a blender to blend them together and you got you will get a very nice coffee and from what the video said it tastes really good too so i'm gonna try out that and to see whether it's really this good but MCT oil will be really important in your keto diet. Of course, you need coffee for bulletproof coffee, right? I'm not a coffee person before, and after I start my job, I really need coffee every day. And so now, now right now, coffee is not a bad choice. Coffee. So the other thing I will get are some of them that I normally would buy it because will consider that a lot of fat you will eat as less as possible so I will show those to you then first so I guess right now I'm actually start with those 
those things that you can put together to prepare some food you like. So basically here, you can use them to make cupcake. And we'll start from this milk. Is is almond milk instead of the normal dairy milk. So I'm actually not quite understand all the thing why keto cannot drink milk. I think because of dairy. You don't want too many dairy too. Mm. So one thing you just need to do is that don't it cannot have a lot of sugar. This is butter. Actually butter is good. We can use not only use it to cupcake, we can use it to cook mm, steak and a lot of other things if you want bread. Of course, keto no bread, but uh, yeah, egg, even eggs. And this is something I would, I probably would never buy if I'm not going to try keto. Obviously, if you eat this, you'll gain weight if you're not on a keto diet. So this is sour cream and this is what is this? What is this? I believe this is cream cheese. Hope I'm right. I, I don't know what I bought. Okay, so this this is mozzarella cheese. I, I I really like it, I think. I hope. And this is one important thing for keto cupcake that is also almond almond flour instead of normal flour right so you can use this to do cupcake and to make cupcake and without to eat too many carbs i think there should no sugar would be good i still don't understand how much sugar would be okay for keto so you, if you guys know please tell me oh here and here another two things this is just cocoa powder as a chocolate flavor powder that you can add into your cupcake and yeah, this is baked 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 cream chocolate is the same thing i also bought a box of green tea i don't know why i bought so many things for keto you know i don't drink tea i don't drink coffee at home but i don't know to Mm, maybe just to prevent me to eat something I shouldn't eat. And this one is deep cut because because if I want to drink it afternoon, I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine. So if I want to drink in the afternoon, it's, it it will be best that it is deep cut. So let's get into the meat part. Okay, so this is all the meat I bought. This is huge chicken breast. No antibiotics, natural, no hormones. It have four percent fat. Hmm. I mean, those label is not that useful for me. I, I, it, it's like a reference, but I'm not like understand them fully. It's not like I can calculate it in my brain. Like. Ugh. But it's a good reference. And here is a rib eye steak. So one person suggests that even though this is a high fat diet, you should also choose your, your meat as lean as possible. So you can control the fat, you act, how much fat you actually take in. And then you can add your own healthy oil in. But definitely this is a bad choice, maybe. But I just won't eat it. I never bought salmon before. I don't know how to cook this, but for a long time I didn't eat cooked salmon. I but I'm definitely gonna cook it. Hope it's gonna be good. Cool. Salmon. And then is a brown beef. 80% lean and 20% fat. So this is all the meat I got. I got it's 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 really a lot. Oh, so right now the table is totally full. I'm going to show you guys the vegetables and fruits. Let's start fruit first. So basically, fruits contain a lot of sugar, I believe. So you cannot eat a lot of fruits too. 
I brought all the things, not all the things, but it's cool to hide on Kiddo. It's okay. So I got the blueberry, I got the raspberry, and the strawberry. So that's all like people mention that you can have it on Kiddo. I also got some ads. It's necessary. It's easy to cook. And I have the avocado, spinach, and I never bought this before. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, asparagus, asparagus, onion, because they don't have a lot of choice. I actually need more. Okay, and that's all. Oh, and I got this. This is a sweetener, which means it's not sugar, but it's sweet. So you can add it into the cupcake to make it looks good, tastes good. So this is almost all the things you can eat. And there's only one thing left that you can also eat. And it's omega-3. I can't believe I bought this. This, you know, this is from Fish Oil. And we all somehow know omega-3 is a good thing. Before, I don't even know there's a difference there's a lot of numbers of omega, omega-3, omega-6. Right now, I know there's different, I, but I don't know the difference. But I just bought it. I don't know why. Maybe I will eat some. I will be good for my health. Oh, sorry, it's not all the things you can eat. It has to have one snack. It's walnuts. This one? Okay, this this time is really done for food. And this is the oven pan. I, the plan is I was going to try out today to prepare some cupcake for next week. So I have some breakfast. But who knows? It's already been this late. So and I think another pretty useful thing is the so, what is called? Measuring cup. So this is a measuring cup. This is measuring spoon. In the recipe, they always use those cups or spoon as a reference. So I think it's pretty useful. And another useful thing, it's really useful, is this blender. It has five cup glass jar, 10 spades, 700 watts. So they said this can crushing eggs, eggs, as crush, crushing, as crushing power. So I bet it can do a lot of things. So what I want to use it is do, if probably I would like to do some smoothie with food, food. And one important thing is I want to use it to make the bulletproof coffee. Hope that works okay so this is most of it still most of it and there's final a few things that is definitely not necessary for keto but i still bought them for some reasons like the omega-3 <laughs> and here is a glass cup I just would like to use it to cook my coffee or or the smoothie. I guess it's just because it's transparent, so it's probably a bit good. So I bought it. Some last thing is this: a knife, a fork. I don't think I have the fork or this kind of stick knife before so I think I bought stick and it burn right and so it's really cheap and colorful bow and plate. I don't know I don't know why I need them but I guess I just start feel I don't have enough of them. I don't know I just feel if I have a lot of things maybe enough of them maybe make me feel safer. I don't know why I don't feel safe without them. So this is all things, 
I bought today for Kido. So you guys can have a guess how much money I spent on all of this and comment below. I know I don't have many people actually watch my video, but comment below if you have a guess, please, how much money I spent on this. And look at all the things you, you know I have a big start and hope I can actually do this keto thing. You know, a lot of people need, need, you don't know, need the, I, I think it's like you, you need a form of start and you, you will set a, you will make a lot of preparation for this start. You will have a plan and you will buy, you will buy everything you need to before this plan and you will have a wonderful imagination of this plan. And you have you have to have all of them to start. Uh, it's good and bad. So for me, I'm definitely I'm definitely need a plan, and I need the imagination of this plan. I need that the imagination be good, be wonderful. It's something that I would love to do. Or if if I just think of it and I think. No, it's not good for me. It's, it's, it's not the thing I want, then it's never gonna happen. But I need the imagination that, oh, this thing is all good for me. I love it. I'm gonna do it. And I need those. And this is that. And don't push, push yourself to be, be well prepared for something you may you've never start to do that. So you don't need to be perfectly prepared. You just you can have some pre prepared preparation, right? And then you just start it and you can get more prepared and continue it, right? So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself when you try to start something. You don't need to be perfect at the beginning. Oh my God, I sound sounds, I sounds so, I sound so right. <laughs> I don't know, I sound cool, cool, all, all the things. I hope this works and I guess that's it. So see you guys next time, which probably gonna be a cupcake video or a soft food video maybe for my keto thing. Oh, my keto. My first time trying keto. Goes well. Bye guys.